Good morning. My name is Mario Benavente, and I would like to begin by thanking those students and faculty members of UNC and community members uh, outside right now and inside today for the persistent efforts to see the removal of Silent Sam from McCorkle Place. Despite what Chairman Harry Smith would have you believe, there are more than six of us. And we'll be unrelenting in our efforts to see this 105-year mistake North Silent Sam made right. This is my second time speaking at the Board of Governors public comment event, previously in January as a senior university student and now as an alumnus. Having reviewed the board's responses to public comments, I've noticed that none of them addressed the concerns that were uh, brought up previously regarding Silent Sam. So um, with that in mind, uh, I'd like to speak more directly um, to the board this time and ask for a very specific response. Governors, issue a statement in support of the removal of Silent Sam from McCorkle Place uh, to the North Carolina General Assembly and the North Carolina Historical Commission. If you require guidance on how to approach the requested statement of condemnation for the white supremacist monument known as Silent Sam, please review the statements issued by 15 UNC departments and schools calling for the removal since last August. They include the Department of uh, English, Art and, uh, Department of Art and Art History, Communication, Sociology, History, American Studies, Geography, Romance Studies, African Diaspora Studies, Department of the Classics, the School of Law, School of Public Health, the School of Education, the School of Social Work, and the School of Information and Library Sciences. You'll notice in their statements that they, are they all unique showcase how their academic disciplines recognize that Silent Sam is more than just a block of stone, as your colleague David Powers would have you believe. They collectively rebuke, uh, the collective rebuke by so many academics to dispel Powers' myth that it's just a bunch of spoiled kids taking a stand against this blight on our campus. If this board will not move to issue a statement, please respond with exactly why that is. This board cannot be trusted to lead and shape policy if it cannot respond convincingly to why it prefers to shrug off responsibility to the valid concerns of its students, faculty, and community. Fifteen members of this board of governors reportedly condemned President Spellings and Chancellor Folt for reaching out to Governor Cooper for guidance regarding the increasing public safety concerns around Silent Sam. Keep in mind, the murder of Heather Heyer in Charlottesville, Virginia, by radical white supremacists had just been perpetrated. A scenario whose potential still exists as long as Silent Sam remains prominently displayed at the entrance of our university. And do not mistake this reality as hyperbole. Please also review and respond to the collection of death threats issued against UNC graduate student Maya Little, which can be found at silentsam.com slash threats of violence. A small sample of the threats will follow. She should be shot on sight, Jerry Hines. Officers should have split her head open, Mo Monty. Let's put a noose on her neck until it snaps. Stephen Triplett, hang her. Eve Davenport Holder, hang her and her communist comrades, Steve Quick. I would have walked up there and shot them, Barry Robinson. Those are the names, and there are many more examples that I, are too heinous to repeat aloud for their extensive use of racial slurs. Those are the same folks who want this board to remain silent on this issue. Stand with the people who have signed on to petitions to remove Silent Sam and to have the uh, charges dropped against anti-racist activist Maya Little. Um, we expect a response. Um, very soon, hopefully. Thank you.